Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, I remember listening to Una and Eve's stories um, when they launched their campaign early last year. I was in the car driving to work, actually, and I was just so uh, taken aback by their experience uh, and what they went through. And I realised that the law in this, in, this, in this space wasn't sufficient. So I got in touch with the, the two women and um, they've been incredible. I mean, they came out of their court case, that entire ordeal. They're still recovering from that, but they started a campaign to help other victims. Um, stalking has been a standalone criminal offence in Scotland, England and Wales for more than a decade. Uh, the Northern Ireland Justice Minister Naomi Long is already bringing through legislation in Northern Ireland to do the same thing. So we're, we are way behind and it was recommended by the Irish Law Reform Commission to do this back in 2016 but it was never acted upon. Okay, so stalking already is covered by existing law insofar as it's deemed as a, as a form of harassment or within the harassment bracket. How will this change help victims? What are we going to see? Yeah, so if we look to other jurisdictions where they've got this law in place, so take Wales for example, so more than a decade ago this law was enacted. If we take the period 2014 to 2018 in Wales, because of that law being a standalone offence, there was a trebling of reporting of stalking offences directly because of the law and a doubling of prosecutions of stalking offences. So there was a very, very direct impact. You legislate for it, you make it a standalone offence, you get more reporting and more prosecutions. So it's better for victims and it's safer for, for everybody. So the changes being proposed will include explicit reference to stalking as a criminal offence and updating the law around that. Stalking including watching or following a victim even when they're not aware they're being watched or followed. And, and a provision key to this is to allow a victim in very serious cases to apply to the court for an order to prevent the alleged perpetrator from communicating with them in advance of any trial because that that's a terrifying thought as well for a victim in it these is. cases i think for a victim to come forward and make a complaint is a really brave step to take and it's a big decision so they need to be assisted and helped all the way along a lot of the reports we get back i think una's case is unique in that the Gardaí were exemplary they were fantastic that's not always the case because the law in this area is quite unclear currently if you're stalked you have to try and get justice under current harassment laws the word harassment doesn't really cover what happened to Una, it doesn't cover what happened to Eve McDool either. Um, and it, harassment is just, it's slightly different. It's a lesser offence in my view. Stalking, you'll find an obsession and a fixation on the part of the perpetrator. Very often a concocted, intimate relationship that doesn't actually exist, but does in their mind. And as Una pointed out, the end game is very different. Very often it can be fatal for the victim. And in Una's case, thankfully, because the Gardaí were on site, it could have been a very different night uh, in that house. So it's really terrifying. Um, what we're proposing, I published a bill last September to criminalise stalking. Initially, the Department of Justice were not in favour of it. Uh, they tried to stop the bill progressing, um, but I pursued it in any event with Una and Eve by my Why side. Why was that? Their view at the time from the Minister and from the Department is that the harassment section in the legislation was sufficient, even though we knew it wasn't and we knew what other jurisdictions had done and, and the impact that it had. Um, I believe that events in the last number of weeks um, have prompted the department to reconsider and they've reflected and changed their minds. And now Minister McEntee has met with myself, Una and Eve, just yesterday evening actually, and has agreed to progress our legislation. It will conclude in the Shannon in two weeks' time. Committee stage has been taken tomorrow. It'll be completely finished in the Shannon in two weeks. And then it'll be over to the Dáil to do the second part of, of that, passing that the was, That was my question. Um, you know, big ideas here and, and clearly a help for, for uh, victims involved but how soon will we actually see this becoming a, a reality? So as a member of Shannon Aaron, I can tell you that come the 9th of February it will have passed all stages in that house. It then goes over to the Dáil to go through all stages again. Theoretically it can be done in a, in a matter of weeks. Um, so it really will be over to the Minister for Justice and her team in the department um, to progress things on their side. We've done the groundwork, we've done the research, we've drafted the legislation and I'm bringing it through the Shannon so I'll have my work done at that point. Then it'll be over to the Minister to conclude uh, in the Dáil but theoretically in a number of weeks it could be on the statute books if the, if the, the political will is there to do that. Yeah.